Hello and welcome everybody, I'm the Idiot Dad Gamer and this is Star Trek Online. These are the continuing adventures of Idiot Jim. Alright, let's talk to Admiral Garrett for our next mission. I have some new orders for you. Turn to Babel. We have a problem at Babel. Corridan rebels have taken several Federation trade officials hostage, and they're threatening to kill them unless the UFP withdraws from the Corridan sector. I'd like you to work with the negotiation team and try to resolve this peacefully. But of course, Admiral. Let's beam back to our ship. Let's see. I do this map. Yes, let's leave the system. It's Daniel's want. I don't know what Daniel's wants. Where we're going, we're going to speak with Daniels in sector space. All right, we're going to talk to Daniels. Captain, I need to speak with you in my quarters. I think it's time for that explanation I owe you. Well, giving orders to the captain. There's more to this mission than you realize, Captain. Tell me. Something's not right. I'll explain shortly. Spit it out, man. It was a neutral rogue planetoid. Pass it up, huh? There it is. Sure, this is my way team. To all my senior bridge officers. Let's do this. Here we go. All right. I appreciate your patience. I'm what's known as a temporal agent. It's my job to preserve the timeline. You helped me stop one temporal incursion at K-13. There's been another at Babel, and I can use your help with it. Welcome to the temporal ready room. I use it to monitor the timeline. The Nakul have sent agents to a critical point in time. We believe they disrupted the Babel Conference in 2268 aboard the USS Enterprise. I want to send you back there to stop them. You'll be sent back to a point shortly before the conference begins. I'm sending one of our best temporal agents along. I believe you've met. Check off. Nice to see you again. It's been some time. For me, at least. For you, I see hardly any time has passed at all. It must be strange to see me looking... Uh, older. Once you're on Enterprise, deal with the Nakul and make sure the conference proceeds as planned. Daniels. You'll have a temporal transponder. Your lips are Which moving. will allow me to communicate with you and bring you back. You'll also have these bioscanners. They're short range, but will detect Nakul agents nicely. Do the job right, and no one will know we were there. Sounds good to me. Send us back in time, Daniels. Thank you for coming, Captain. The situation at Babel shouldn't be happening. 
Something in the past has changed, and not for the better. So we're going back in time. It's the checkoff. Let's begin by using Enterprise's sensors to look for signs of our time-traveling friends. The computer won't have any details on an cool, so you'll need to recalibrate the sensors manually on the bridge. Okay. Oh, and one more item to be aware of. Ensign Pavel Chekhov is currently on duty on the bridge, which is why I will be remaining here out of sight. As much as I would like to visit the bridge again, two of me in the same place would raise questions neither of us wants to answer. Gotcha. Let's get to work. I will check with you again after you are done on the bridge. I haven't worn this uniform for some time. It's a little... snug. I hear you check off. Sad that is her Sulu. Love the sounds. Uh, let's see. Excellent. Nice work. I'm getting some readings from Deck 11, but I can't pinpoint them. Some sort of interference. We'll need to get close and scan by hand. Start with the mess hall. There are a lot of people coming and going there. Let's look at the Enterprise one more time. That's the mess hall. Where are these buttons here? Inventory. Characters. That flip. Don't know you. A babble delegate. Hey, what you doing there, buddy? Vulcan, I would speak to you. It does seem unavoidable. How do you vote on the Corridon in mission? It's got to be audio from the original series. These dudes. Options, audio, music volume. Yeah, okay. Guess I'm following this guy. Is there something I can help you with? It's about to ask you the same thing. I'm well aware of that. I'm weary of listening to the Tellerite ranting at the Vulcan. I'd like to retire to my quarters. Of course. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be on my way. Have a pleasant evening, Basta. Meet Chekhov in the armory.
Captain Chekhov. Looks like they're on the move. But I'm still getting a lot of false readings on the sensors. Let's keep checking the deck. Like the old Russian saying goes, two heads are better than one. Right. Let's head back to the junction and collect some readings. Being here takes me back. It was quite a different time for Starfleet. Scan for Naku. Head back toward the reception. Head toward the observation deck. Get to the observation deck. Turn toward the engineering circuits away from the turbo leaf. Away. There he is. Oh. Wait, that's Ambassador Gav. Take it. it sucks to be that guy. Five, please. The captain's wound is serious. He'll bleed out if we don't help him. Stabilize him quickly. Dr. McCoy will be here shortly to finish the job. Oh, that's Kirk. <coughs> Excuse me. Good. It looks like the captain is stabilized. We need to move. I've detected Nakul technology in engineering. Where is the engineering? Hey, I know this guy. Someone sent a bomb in here. I cannot defuse and keep the mains online at the same time. Wait, Chekhov, is that you? You look older than me, laddie. And you, the last time I saw you was on Dorzana Station. Something was dodgy then, and it's more than a wee bit dodgy now. It's complicated, Scotty. We've been sent back in time to keep the Enterprise from being destroyed. Aliens are trying to alter the future of the Federation. There's no time to explain. You have to trust us, old friend. We're here to help. All right, lad. You can start by helping me keep this ship from blowing to pieces. And get rid of that bloody bomb, if you can. Sounds like a... Good plan. I've got power to the number six shield. Number six shield. Pair teams. Auxiliary power. Six shield. Good work. Now check on that bomb. Check on the bomb. Auxiliary power to weapons. Auxiliary power to weapons. That's repair teams. Oh, I guess I just move. Yeah. Good 
Good work. Now check on that bomb. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Repair teams to deck 19. Repair teams. <laughs> Good work. Now check on that bomb. Jesus, man. Scotty, we can't save to cut the power. Uh, I see what he's about. Why is it so dark? That got him. We can't disarm this bomb, but we need to get to that Orion ship anyway. We can take it with us. Why not just beam it into space? We can't let that ship be captured. It has dangerous technology on it. Scotty, I need you to trust me. That ship needs to be destroyed. You can't tell anyone what happened here. It could damage the timeline irreparably. Besides, I'm captain now, so I technically outrank you. Uh, All right, lad. I'll take you at your word. Once you're ready, I'll send you and that bomb over. Yeah, let's beam to the ship. Good luck to you. Energizing. Now, what's this? Something that's going to change the timeline. The Orion ship. The Orions will lock down their ship. We need to override their security systems. Whoa! Push X to remove your weapon. Then your weapon will give you a 25% bonus to damage. Some items. Use the B key to toggle between shooter mode and RPG mode. Okay, B key. Oh. Key. Let's see here. to crouch. Crouching gives a 50% defensive bonus against range attacks, but increases damage from melee attacks. Okay. Now what? Let's go through this door. Let's crouch. Take out the B key. Can't see anything. I'm going to try to attach the bomb to the Orion ship's engine controls. I'll need you to cover me. See if you can hold them at the doorway so they can't shoot me in the back. So 
Sounds good, check off. So the mad door way. That's the only door way. Whoa! Bomb is in place. Not much time left. We need to get out of here before we go down with the ship. All right, I pick up my little bit of loot. Hey, what's up, Daniels? you out of there in time. You're both valuable agents. Of course, no one will know what you've done today, with the exception of Commander Scott. That being said, this won't be the strangest thing he'll see in his career. Not by a long shot. Indeed. It comes with the job, I'm afraid. In the meantime, I can send you and Captain Chekhov back to your respective timelines when you're ready. All right, Daniels. Thanks, buddy. Talk to check off. That was quite an adventure. I think you have the makings of a fine temporal agent, my friend. As good as it was to see Enterprise again, I have other duties to attend to. We're preparing for a very serious event, the Battle of Procyon 5. That conflict will determine the... <laughs> ah, but you don't need to worry about that now. Enjoy your time on the frontier of yesteryear. A time that we'll never come again. True. Thanks for everything, Captain. Until next time. Let's return to the sector. A lot could have gone wrong today. We could have lost critical figures in history. Sarek of Vulcan, James Kirk, and the crew of the Enterprise. The list is long. However, the timeline was preserved, thanks to you and Captain Chekhov. The Babel Conference proceeds as planned, and Korodan is admitted to the Federation. Well done. I'll continue to monitor the timeline for incursions. I hope I can count on you again when the time comes for action. See, we get experience, expertise points, console, deflector array, Alethia Moore, Vulcan male, tactical office, human male, and Tellarite. We're gonna go with human. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Bridge officer assistance. Greetings, Captain. Remember your crew. Choose not now. Yeah. Excellent day. All right. So let's go back to Soul System and speak to the Admiral. There's a, a way I can hide that damn rifle. Figure that out a little later. Admiral, Admiral's office.
I have some new orders for you. All right, on that note, we will call it an episode. Do me a favor. If you enjoyed this, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification button. And as always, have a good one.